Well, welcome back. Um, in the previous video, we looked at the grouping. How do we set up groups on the course? In this video, we'll look at how do we set up an assignment for group submission. Okay, so I'll quickly add a new assignment. So I have already edited editing tent on, so I'm adding an assignment. And then I'll, I'll just name it quickly and I'll skip the description. Um, <clears throat> other settings, uh, I'll not do a match on them. I'll, I'll specifically go to the settings that have to do with um, uh, grouping. And the first settings that I want us to look at is the group submission, which you need to say, um, which you need if you want them to submit in groups, then you can click yes. Okay. Then you can choose to say require at the setting of a require group to make submission. You can then click yes. If you click yes, that means each student, um, the, the group leader or just one student from the group will need to, um, to make a submission. If you click no, every um, that will activate the next, um, suppose the next settings which will allow every student to to, 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 to submit an assignment, okay? But let us look at then um, grouping for student groups, okay? Uh, this, you leave it by default. I think the keys, the really key settings is on the common module settings, okay? Take note, the group submission settings and the common, common module settings is where you would need to take care of this. So at common module settings, you will need to indicate whether visible groups or separate groups. Now with the visible separate groups setting, it would mean each student, they only see their group members. They will not see other, other people who are not a member of their groups, but the visible groups, they will see everybody, okay? So if you choose then to say, um, Either way, maybe you want to say they should be able to see other groups, then um, that that way uh, they will be able to submit in groups. So you should have this enabled, okay? Otherwise, it will, this will not work. So if you look at students submitting the groups, okay? Remember, you choose yes, okay? Then you say require group to make a submission. If you want, if you want, um, a group to make a submission on behalf of everybody, you click yes, otherwise you click no, okay? This question marks here will be able to help you with the explanation of each of the options. For example, if you click here, it will tell you if enabled user who are not a member of a group will be unable to make a submission. So only those who are in the groups will be able to make submissions, okay? Require group members, uh, require all group members to submit. It's already by default no, okay, because we have already indicated students submitting groups. But if you click no here, um, then everything else is, is disabled. If you click yes, then we have other settings here, right? So this is it. Uh, these two settings, the group submission setting and the common module settings, this is where you need to take care of um, the, the assignment or the group assignment settings. Other than that, the other the rest of the settings are um, are fine. You can you can take care of them as usual or in any other setting of any individual assignments. If you have any question, please you are welcome to put up a comment there or or contact me. Then I can clarify further. Cheers.